mics are on. So, hello everyone. If you if you have a minute, come over and check out the sustainability development goals dialogue studio. What are we calling this area again? SDG is right behind me. The SDG studio. Come on over and take a seat. All right, we will get the conversation started. That'll be good. So, my name is Evan Woodnorth. I'm working with Deutsche Welle as a multimedia journalist just down the street. And I'm joined here by Tony Lanier, who is the senior advisor for United Smart Cities and United for Smart Sustainable Cities. Tony, I understand you are interested on, in the financing of sustainability goals. Can you maybe yes. talk a little bit more about that, um, about that side of the... 54% of the population uh, is now live in cities. So they really think by 2050 that there's going to be between 60 and 70% of the population will be living in cities. Yeah. So if we want the SDGs to be delivered, guess who has to deliver them? The cities, obviously. So the question is always with the reduction of resources and budget cuts when it comes to cities, we need to find alternative ways of getting financing so mayors and cities can actually develop and support sustainable development or SDG supporting projects. So what I'm asking is to look at using the financial markets in a lot, much more innovative way. There are plenty of funds out there that are sustainable funds, environmental funds, impact funds, but they're really based on traditional type of financing. In order to do things differently, in order to try to move things forward in a more innovative way, then why don't we use financial models, financing, financial tools in a more innovative way? Because the SDGs are not going to be delivered unless we use every single tool in the, in the financial arsenal. And what does that c concretely mean? What are, we, what are we talking about as far as new financial means? Um, crowdfunding. Why not so that? Something like a, like a Kickstarter campaign, perhaps, or something. Kickstarter, yeah. Indiegogo, cryptocurrencies. To me, these are all the things that are cutting edge right now. And of course, they all have problems. There's, all, there's issues with them. Sure. There's going to be smarter people than I that are going to figure out what to the solutions to that. And, the, and financing of the SDGs, financing of sustainability, has to be part of the discussion now. Instead of in 10 years' time, and they're like, oh, well, we should have done cryptocurrencies when there was a fervor for it. So you're saying it needs to go hand in hand Let, with the let's, development. Let's, open, let's be quite open to those brand new types of financing. And, uh, and how can we weave them into the discussion about sustainable finance? Is this something you've already, is already being mirrored in, in, in certain cities, or is this um, something that you think is not even being thought of? I think that cities at this point are trying to get a handle on which of the SDGs that they want to focus on. I mean, the beauty in my mind about the SDGs is that you don't have to do all of them. Like the Millennium Development Goals, it was kind of you do all of them or yeah. you do none of them. And with the SDGs, the beauty of them is that you can pick and choose. So if I'm a mayor of Philadelphia, for instance, I'm going to say, let's look at education. Yep. Okay? Let's focus on education right now. And maybe next year we can start talking about infrastructure or mobility or something. But it gives them the option to actually pick and choose what they see as most important for their city. Because yeah. not every city is going to be the same. And They're they can play to their strengths as well. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly right. Not only strengths of... The, what they think they need to address, but also the capabilities with that are within their cities. And I think that finance should be uh, an enhancer and a supporter of these types of initiatives instead of what investors have tended to be seen, of, seen as, let me find a way to say no. Mm -hmm. Let's give investors the reason to say yes and so let's wanna, base on make SDGs. It, you want to make financing easy and, and fire easier? I think not easy, not easier, but make it much more profound. Okay. So it's not just about the returns, but it's also about what are the secondary and tertiary returns? How else is it going to have an impact? Um, and you know, you can talk about impact funding and financing all, all you want, but when, you, when we're talking about some of, the, the, some of those innovative products, like cryptocurrencies, for instance, yeah. and we are talking about fundraising, but why not have one for the city of London where I live? Mm -hmm. Have a cryptocurrency, an SDG London coin and then figure out what, how are we going to raise funds, what is that, how are those funds going to be absolutely adapted for the SDGs to address a specific mm -hmm. SDG, SDG project. 
And the returns are that that project gets off the ground, but also the value of making sure that the city is either sustainable or they have good infrastructure of whatever there might be. That's the inherent value within the coin. And let's not to link forget, it to a specific purpose. To exactly. Yeah. But let's not forget that 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 uh, cryptocurrencies are actually built on blockchains. And yeah, maybe if you could kind of break that down for, I mean, even myself, I'm, I'm very confused by the, the entire, entire Blockchain. thing. Blockchain. And, and just cryptocurrencies in general. So maybe for those listening in the web and also in front of us, um, maybe a brief summary of that or a brief overview. Um, well, currencies are uh, a decentralized currency. Yeah. And everyone says, what is a currency actually? What does a value for a currency come from? But I would posit, what does anything have? A, you know, where do you get value for anything? And the innovative technology behind a cryptocurrency is that the ledgers of where the value and what where the coins actually sit is very diversified so it's unhackable it um, has a multitude of ledgers so mm -hmm. everybody knows where everything is and this that and then that's the blockchain technology and I think what where the sustainable development goals is leaps ahead of now cryptocurrencies that are currently um, that that are currently out there is that environmentalists social activists, social justice people, they've been doing ledgers for decades. <laughs> they know where those ledgers are. And they are sitting on floppy disks, on thumb drives. Yeah, yeah. They are everywhere. So that's really a, where a value of this type of the SDG cryptocurrency could come from, from those ledgers. Why not mine those ledgers in order to create, a, uh, to create value? Now, there's challenges, absolutely. And I can think of about three or four. I won't go into them. But I do definitely know that there's really uh, not only a fervor for them, but also a fervor to get those challenges sorted. Mm -hmm. Let's find solutions. That's yeah. what we're here for. Festival of action. Exactly. And I also, I like, I like the aspect you talked about earlier about how, um, you know, with these, let's say, Kickstarter campaigns or these kind of crowdfunding things, that's exactly what we're talking about here with citizen engagement as well. You know, that's, it's not some large organization. It's, it's the individual. It's, it's you, it's me, it's people here at the festival who are putting their money, putting their interests, putting their passion forward in order to reach whatever goal they are most passionate about. Absolutely. So, yeah. All righty. That was uh, Tony Lania from the Senior Advisor for United Start Cities. Thank you for... Uh, uh, thank you, Evan. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All righty. Any, any questions from those who are in front of us? Don't everybody raise their hand at the same time, because <laughs> I know this is riveting stuff. <laughs> I don't know if you have a tr ever tried to make a financing mapping, because there are diff very diverse uh, actors in this sector. Have you ever tried to do a mapping job to identify well, who, who, who are different actors and with what's uh, their Yes, there's case. definitely already a map out there. Go on to any Bloomberg terminal. You can figure out who has the impact in uh, funds, who has the sustainability funds, who has the green funds, ex where are the bonds. Go on the World Bank uh, website. You can see where all the green bonds, what are they doing, their returns, et cetera. I mean, that's all there because that's actually the financial uh, product. Um, when we're talking about the more innovative things, Nobody's doing them. That's the problem. Nobody's doing them, and nobody's even talking about them, which is where I'm saying, let's start the discussion now and not in 10 years' time that they, we turn back and be like, oh, we should have done that. Oh, we should have had a cryptocurrency for the SDGs or whatever it might have been because we're just not willing to start to talk about it. I mean, we have such smart people that are working with the SDGs, but they're not necessarily financial people. The financial people, I have to say, are not really here. So what I'm asking, as an ex, as a recovering uh, investment, investment <laughs> banker, is to start talking about some of those innovative products. And they're not mapped because they're not there. So as soon as they are there, absolutely. Let's get a PhD candidate that'll, that'll write a, a beautiful PhD dissertation on the mapping of, of SDG coins and how it, came to come, how it came to fruition at the Festival of Action. Okay, thank you. And, and just now you mentioned that the beauty of SDG is, is that you can pick up one or several goals and you can work on it. But there's a very uh, big characteristic of uh, SDGs is that the indivisibility of goals. So in, in this dimension, regard to the in, in, uh, indivisibility of goals, and I don't know if ever you try to 
um, help and nudge people to uh, delivering our SDGs in a more integrated way. Of course, we can start from uh, one specific goal, but if we ever go further to integrated other goals, um, that's, uh, I, I don't mean to say that they're, they're not integrated, but what I'm saying is that y that yeah, biting off all 17 of the goals, people won't do it. It's just too much. So the SDGs, the beauty of them is that you can pick and choose which one you want to do. But frankly, I'm absolutely with you. If you do number, um, if you do number four, you know, about, gen about uh, equality, gender equality, the minute you do that, suddenly education gets impacted. You have better nutrition. You have better. Um, you have no poverty. I mean, the whole, all that, all that is. They are interconnected, and they're secondary and tertiary effects. But it doesn't. It shouldn't stop someone from saying, "Oh gosh, I can't take on all of them." Yeah. Okay. Take on one or two. Start small. But n recognizing that if you stick with one, like a sustainable city, if you make a, a city sustainability sustainable, suddenly you're talking about renewable energy. You're talking about mobility, which are also part of the SDGs. So. I'm with you, but let's not give them too much to do. Let's yeah, let them start slowly, yeah. understanding that we all have to lead, but we all need to be involved in order to lead. Yeah. As you are working for United Smart Cities, I don't know if you can mention some um, United uh, Smart Cities champions or who are champions. Well, in uh, United Smart City? Cities started started off only in um, 2016, and it has now okay. become a UN supported with 16. Uh, UN agencies, yeah. and we're starting with 25 cities, some mega cities, some indigenous cities, as well as cities that are in the middle. And they are going to, we are going to be launching the end of April, okay. and then um, in May, uh, we're going to do a big launch in May in Kuwait City. So watch out for it. Look for United Smart Cities. We are solutions based. Let's get stuff done. Okay. Thank you. All righty. Is that Thank okay, you. Evan? Are you of feeling course. happy? Of course. I'm feeling very good, yeah. It's a right. good note to end on as well. A good. positive one. Yeah? Yeah. Mirrors you're going to give us a song. Look, the way you're holding the microphone, you're going to give us a song. <laughs> <laughs> Do some karaoke. Why don't we have karaoke here? That'd be a good idea, right? <laughs> Sustainable development karaoke. Or rap. Do or rap. Or rap. You can sing. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Next year. Who's with me? No? <laughs> well, thank Alrighty. you. Likewise. All yeah. right.